Welcome back, everyone. This video will be similar to the video I made not too long ago titled, Blizzard Has a Death Wish. It will be similar because we're receiving word of a continuation of the anti-First Amendment movement happening within modern gaming companies. For the entirety of this video, I will be quoting a Bounding Into Comics article titled, Ubisoft and Riot Games Announce Joint Project to Preemptively Stop Disruptive Behavior with Trained AI. Ubisoft, Riot Games, and a few others have teamed up to create something called Zero Harm in Comms. What is this dubious-sounding project, you may ask? Well, according to Bounding Into Comics' reporting, the project is described like this. Ubisoft and Riot Games have joined forces for a new research project in the pursuit of making online game spaces safer. Safe spaces, guys. Safe spaces. Ubisoft described Zero Harm in Comms in this way. At its core, the Zero Harm in Comms project aims to create a shared database of anonymized data used to train Ubisoft and Riot's systems to detect and mitigate disruptive behavior. The shared venture goes on to explain, We cannot solve it alone. We want to build a framework for this. Share the results with the community. See how it goes. And bring in more people. We agree that the solutions that we can use today are not sufficient for the kind of player safety we have in mind for our players. Player safety. What is it exactly that you corporate white knights are protecting players against? Oh, that's right. Mean words. But fear not, dear listener, for your video game anti-free speech overlords have your best interest at heart. How do I know this? Well, because they plan on removing any personally identifiable information. They said so, so it must be true. I quote, Gathered from various chat logs in Ubisoft's and Riot's portfolio of games, the data, strings of text, are scrubbed clean of personally identifiable information and personal information. As if anyone buys that. This Orwellian madness continues as Ubisoft proclaims, They are then labeled by behavior. Is this totally neutral, for example? Or is it, is it racism? Or sexism? and used to train automated systems to better recognize and parse such harmful behavior from the jump. I'm not sure what's more frightening. The fact that a video game company would want to create some AI program to parse through chat logs, or the fact that there is technology that is the equivalent of a transhumanist wet dream being birthed as we speak. This makes the scene in Demolition Man where you get fined for using profanity one step closer to being real and implemented. Which is ironic, in a sense, because it wasn't that long ago where it was liberals who were berating conservatives for not allowing free speech and music. Continuing with the article, there are key words that can be immediately recognized as bad. However, it's often much trickier to parse. For example, if you see, I'm gonna take you out, in a chat, what does that mean? Is it part of the fantasy? If you're playing a competitive shooter, it might not be a problem, but if it's another type of game, the context might be totally different. This situation warns me giving yet another warning. What Ubisoft and the other companies seem to forget is that if they ban certain words, it won't take long for some snarky edgelord to conjure a new slang term that means the exact same thing. Before Censorsoft can ban that word, there'll be a brand new word to immediately replace the old one. This will undoubtedly create a game of tag for these companies, and that gamers will outrun these companies, guaranteed. Moving on with the article, it's not shocking that the video ga game speech police were quick to say something like this. It's 2022. Everyone is online, and everyone should feel safe. Period. Safe from what? Words? This is about as anemic of an argument as I suspected their arguments would be. They want to remove your freedom of expression because they don't like the words you use. This next quote will open a bevy of questions, but I do believe I have some answers, so stick with me here. I quote, 
As members of the Fair Play Alliance, both companies believe that improving the social dynamics of online games will only come through communication, collaboration, and joint efforts across the gaming industry. Now, if you're wondering who consists of this Fair Play Alliance, here are the names. The Fair Play Alliance includes Amazon Games, Blizzard Entertainment, no surprise there, Epic Games, Discord, Twitch, and more. Originally, I planned on pointing out that everyone could just use Discord to circumvent this idiocy, but it seems that even Discord is in bed with these delicate men. So if Discord is involved in this open conspiracy to quell freedom of speech, the question is to what extent will Discord flex their authoritarian powers? Will they start making a beeline to certain game servers and start banning people left and right? Or will they start interfering with private chats and private calls between friends? My friends, this is what the slippery slope looks like in real time. We went from Gamergate to all heterosexual white men are evil to now we will create tools to silence whoever we want for whatever reason we want. Once these douche canoes taste this kind of power, they will not be fair implementing that power. I promise you. But here's an example, or here's an idea of mine. First, they'll start banning you for saying words they don't like. In-game. Then, they'll start banning you preemptively for things you have said somewhere else online. I know how these despots think, and that will be their next move. As always, they'll smother their intentions with piety, and then wrap it in candy-coated public good. After all, that is the communist way. Remember, everyone, absolute power corrupts absolutely. That's it for this video. As usual, if you like what you heard, feel free to body slam that like button. And gently massage the s subscribe or follow button for more heart-filled content like this. Until next time, everyone, have fun.